Great starters make a party happening. So I always like to think out of the box to make a starter. A little twist here and there makes a common starter a speciality. So this is something like this and I call it the water chestnut and corn balls. I'm going to make the recipe in two parts. First, I'm going to make the corn mixture and then the water chestnut mixture. So let's start. First, I'm going to make the outer covering because I need to cool it down. Before you turn on the flame, I have half a tin of cream style corn. I'm going to mix 2 tablespoons of milk with 3 tablespoons of corn flour. And I'm going to add it to this mixture. Half a clove garlic pounded, half a teaspoon ginger chilli paste, salt to taste. I'm going to mix everything properly before I turn on the flame. Turn on the heat and cook this mixture till it becomes thick. Keep stirring. Keep cooking it till it becomes nice and thick and starts leaving the pan. Requires a little bit of muscle work but trust me it's worth it. The mixture started to leave the pan and now I'm going to turn off the flame. Just spread it onto the same pan and I'm going to cool this down completely. Let's make the water chestnut mixture now. 2 tablespoon of the sweet chilli sauce. Turn on the flame. Just warm it up a little bit. Cook the sauce for 1 minute. Once it starts drying out, I'm going to add half a cup of water chestnuts chopped. Mix it well. Pat dry the tinned water chestnuts because I want the filling to be absolutely dry. If you don't want to use water chestnuts, you can use any other vegetables like baby corn, zucchini, bell peppers, anything that you like. I want a very dry mixture. I'm also going to add one small spring onion chopped. Mix it very quickly. I don't want it to overcook. Turn off the flame. Add a little bit of salt and the filling is ready and I'm going to let the filling cool down as well. The reason why I cook both the mixtures separately is because I didn't want the water chestnuts to overcook. Both the mixtures have cooled down, so let's mix them together and shape them. Just mash this corn mixture a little bit. Just bring everything together. Now I'm going to add this water chestnut mixture and mix everything properly. Mix small balls of this mixture. and roll it in breadcrumbs. Roll them in breadcrumbs. The oil is nice and hot and the chestnut corn balls are ready to fry. They're nice and golden brown now and I'm going to get them out. Serve the chestnuts and the corn balls with sweet chilli sauce and dazzle your guests. I'm going to enjoy this while you subscribe to Rajshree Food. See you next time. Bye-bye.